Hi, this is Keith Kells with How to Build Your Own Home. I've got a weekly bonus here. I'm in, researching uh, installations right now for a client that I'm uh, doing, uh, building a, a home for them up in the mountain. It'll be about 9,000 feet high. I'm researching installations, and I like high-performance technology. I love something that's going to improve my utility costs, improve a lot of things and qualities about the homes that I build. This here is a Rockwell product, and I know a lot of you have researched installations. So I'm really looking at some of their commercial stuff. Sometimes when you research and you find technology they use in the commercial end, Hey, why can't I use that for my home? Well, we just haven't sold it to the home yet, but you can look at it. This here is their um, roof decking uh, insulation, and this is typically the insulation you put on a flat roof for a commercial project. I said, can I use that on a, a 512 pitch on some cabin units that I'm installing? Well, we haven't authorized it to be used that way, but I can't say you can, but why can't you? And so why can't I? So I'm looking at using a product like this for some cabins that I'll be building for a client. It's very, very rigid. You can actually walk on this and not compress it. I'm actually quite uh, um, in, impressed by it. I know some commercial projects will overlap this twice to give that kind of uh, uh, some insulation. They also put that on top of some rigid foam. They do a combination, so they have a full layer blanket. So I'm really looking at that because I've got some timber frame structures as well that I've got to put some insulation on. And right now the SIP panels are going through the roof because of material costs. But some of these prices have remained stable. A lot of this price change right now is causing people to really look at new technologies. This here is their comfort board. It's about one inch thick. So if you needed an extra R4 on the exterior of your building, this here would actually do that. <clears throat> It's got great sound deadening qualities. It's fireproof, mold proof. Again, Rockwool is a great product. And of course, they've got their uh, Comfort Bat R30, uh, which I'll be probably be putting in the walls. Again, this is mold proof. It's got great sound deadening qualities and it's got greater density than your typical fiberglass insulation. But there's one more product that's out there that's kind of interesting. And I've been watching this. This here is uh, hemp uh, wool. This is actually made from uh, the hemp stalk of a hemp plant. Now, I believe that hemp is going to come a long way in the years to come because it grows like a weed. It's very easy to grow, and I think farmers really need to have a textile that they can get their teeth into and grow. Not just food products, but also textile products. So right now, this is an R20 compared to the Rockwell, which is about an R30. And those would both fit within a two by six structure of a, of a home. They're basically the similar in nature in cutting and shaping. And you uh, uh, cut it to a little longer fit for the stud wall and you put it right in the stud wall. But I'm watching this as a new product. Please see my description link for the um, hemp wool as well as the rock wool products. They're both, this here is made of rock, the slag from rock. Uh, this here is made from plants, so they're extremely renewable, extremely uh, uh, sustainable, uh, great products to look at. So take a look at their website. It's very interesting. It's very lightweight. It's about the same density right now as the Rockwell. It's a little bit lighter, but it's got some firmness to it, which is what you want. You're not going to have any voids or gaps like you would uh, some insulation products. But I'm excited. I'm excited about what this could do to the industry and a renewable product like this that farmers can grow. That's what I love. That's what I like to see most of all to see what we can do with a product like that. Anyway, just a quick weekly bonus. As I research new technologies and new products, I will let you know about them as quick as I can. This is Keith Kelsch with How to Build Your Own Home.